Hello everyone and um, welcome to the latest video on my channel Digger Evans Model Railway What I'm attempting to do is a, a running session I'm trying to keep the camera in one spot so we don't all get seasick as so often happens with someone unskilled like myself What you see coming up this side now is a, a Class 37 Great Rocks in, It's a Lima and it's pulling a couple of uh, steel carrying steel carrying uh, flat wagons and on the other line is uh, Cotswold Rail Vitrain pulling containers and it's a really smooth nice run with the Vitrains this lemur is a right old growler it's living up to its name I bought it at a show and I only paid a few quid 15 quid so it wanted a clean up on that but it's a, it's a very temperamental runner it might need a new motor eventually but it was good fun for the money the container train there that uh, that by train it's in Cotswold Rail as I say and uh, they're defunct now Cotswold Rail they don't run anymore there's no such company uh, but it's a nice little machine in any livery it really is and uh, the containers it's pulling are a Cura scales and a couple of Barkmans I do have a Hornby and uh, it keeps uncoupling itself for some reason every time I come to a corner there's a slight imperfection and it jumps off it's got a uh, tension lock hooks in them pockets so I'm going to have to change I'm going to have to change it out and I'm going to get some hunk couplings with magnets on I think and uh, see if that helps it any any better than uh, what we're doing at the moment as you can see on my I have tons of stuff still to do tons of stuff to do and I've been really sidetracked with other stuff so I haven't always had the time to do it I did make a quick video the other day uh, about the low relief buildings and that but that video kind of bombed didn't go down too well I don't think uh, so I thought I'd make a running video and show everyone what I'm up to I'm using the uh, HM6000 system for running the trains and uh, I'll just bring it to you so we can see it that's it where am I going uh, the speed is set there for the VI trains on circuit 1 it doesn't need a lot to encourage it to go but on circuit 2 you look at the controls and they're actually both set up the same how much juice I'm having to put into the 37 to keep it running it really does want a good uh, a good servicing I think but apart from that sorry about that apart from that uh, it does run and for 15 quid you cannot grumble we we'll actually come past this side if we can I've got some low relief, more low relief buildings to work on and I may do another video on that but see uh, see if anyone's interested uh, I've got a different method, we'll just watch that one through I've got a different method for uh, for the low relief buildings that are far into the background by comparison to those that are quite nearby uh, they need a bit more detail if you look, ignore that window, if you look at the back of the layout there where the buildings are they don't need a great deal of detail because they're three foot away but uh, the other background buildings are only a couple of foot away and you can see you can actually see what's going on so you can catch it coming this way as it's going past and we'll bring it back round I've got the uh, the fences to fix onto this this bridge in front of us, the, the one you see there we need to get those fences up I've fixed them onto the other side just let this go past and uh, I'll show you if we can the bridge over that side you can just see the vehicles on it they've got they've got the fences on and just wants weathering so I, I've got that to do but uh, I just thought I'd do a running video you know sometimes you just get a bit fed up wondering what to do next so I thought I'd just run a few trains for a little while 
let everyone uh, have a look what's going on we follow that container train I'm, the, I'm really disappointed the Hornby one actually cost me about 30 quid and it just it uncouples itself off the, no matter where I put it in the consist if it's right at the back of the locomotive it uncouples itself on the bends and things if it's in between if it's in between the uh, the Batman and the Acura scale it unhooks and if it's on the Batmans it unhooks itself again it's a right temperamental thing but it's a nice to look at but I'm really going to have to rearrange the fittings for it because uh, that much fun if you can't use it you just see that brightens up again so that's about it really I'm just messing about I could I, I, I could bring them off into the sidings but I've got so much stuff in the other sidings both on both lines I've nowhere for them to go and there'll be a, there'll be a calamity because I've put everything put everything in the sidings that's all it is just a right quick uh, running session I like that that by train one it's a very nice low call that thank you all ever so much for looking in if you're watching first time and you like it please do give us a subscribe and a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it I really would and uh, if you're a regular viewer thank you for your uh, support and please do give us a thumbs up thank you all very very much I'll speak to you all soon in the next video bye bye for now my friends take care